Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Tukan. I am the CEO of LeadSift. LeadSift is a sales intelligence platform for B2B companies, helping them identify which accounts they should sell to, who within that account they should talk to, and when. Um, over the last few years, with the advent of internet, intent has become the atomic unit of all digital com commerce. And amongst the different forms of intent, buying intent or purchase intent is the one that's of the most interest to all digital marketers and salespeople. What that means is, it basically the probability of an organization buying your product, services, or solution. You talk to any salesperson or any marketer the number one goal that they have is understanding the buying intent of their potential customers and then reaching out just at the right time with the right message. You talk to everyone, that's their number one goal for any marketer and salespeople. Now that sounds great, but what's the challenge there? The reality is, uh, unless they pick up the phone and call you or send you an email or come to your website and fill out a form, it's very, very difficult to predict intent. Unfortunately, no one's, in a B2B sense, is waving a flag and saying, hey, I need a legal tech solution or an HR solution or a sales intelligence solution or an IT infrastructure solution. No one talks like that. So it becomes very, very difficult for B2B marketers and B2B salespeople to figure out which company is going through the buying journey. What do they do? The typical approach is a spray and pray. You basically have a broad idea of who your customers are, and you basically put ads in front of them, get your salespeople to pick up the phone, call them, send emails, and, and, and that's the typical approach, right? With all this advent of data-driven marketing, AI, that's still the most common way marketers are getting their, their customers. Now, that approach of spraying and praying is a massive waste of resource both from time and money. So at LeadSift, our goal is to solve that problem. When we started LeadSift, our mission has always been around mining, I should rather say sifting through massive amounts of data to identify and predict buying intent. That's what we do at LeadSift. Now, I described what the problem is, um, you know, why marketers care about it. Now, now, the next thing is how do we solve it, right? Because we, I, I clearly mentioned no one's waving the flag and saying, hey, I want to buy your solution. That doesn't happen. So where do we get the data from and how do we extract that? That's where the artificial intelligence and machine learning comes in. So we basically monitor over 70 million data sources on a daily basis to pick up pieces of intense signals or triggers and connect them together to predict which company is going through the buying journey. So we would be looking at sources like, if anytime we see someone talking to your competitor, that could be a signal of intent. If someone just partnered up with one of your partners, that could be a signal of intent. If we see someone hiring for a specific role that needs your services and solution, that could be a signal of intent. If we see someone researching about your topic on the web, that could be a signal of intent. Now, as we do not have a live demo or a deck to showcase uh, how LeadSift works, I was thinking how can I most actionable way describe what LeadSift does in a, in, in a concrete manner. And that's when it hit me last night, is there are three other companies, they're all in B2B software that we can potentially sell to, and, and I can use them as an example. So uh, what I did was I entered their company name within LeadSift today morning, and identified a few companies that they should be selling to based on signals of intent. So for Plum, uh, your companies should be UserZoom and Intel. For Nudge, Campaign Monitor and, uh, and Algolia would be two great accounts to go after. And Intact Insurance would be someone that you guys should be selling to right here in Toronto. We also know who within these, com within these companies they should talk to, but I'm not gonna give that away for free. So, <laughs> so, Anyways, why is now the right time? The time is right now because of three reasons. A, B2B buying is extremely complex. There's on average of seven people involved 
in making a purchase decision. So it's absolutely imperative for you to know who you should be talking to and when. Second, the whole idea of privacy and, 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 and data protection, you cannot just go ahead and spam people with your message. You need to be super careful about companies that do actually have a legitimate interest in your solution. Only those people you should be going after. And the third reason is, with, that, with everyone shifting towards data-driven marketing, AI is the buzzword. So this is a better time than ever. Um, so in terms of an ask, right? I know it's primarily a, 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 an IT-focused crowd. Just with a raise of hands, how many people work in marketing, sales, or is, is working with a team that, that's involved in customer acquisition or demand generation? Awesome. OK, that's, that's more than I expected. That's great. So this is my ask, and this is my humble request to you. If, if you are interested, if what I said made sense, um, then what I would request you, come talk to me or go to leadsev.com. And what we'll do is we'll do a free sample report showing you guys the companies that are showing intense signals towards your business right now. In conclusion, <clears throat> recently, there has been a few companies that have reached out to us and said, hey guys, the leads that you have given us, the intense signals that you have given us, has had better conversion than the inbound leads that have come to our website. What that tells us is, using data science and artificial intelligence, you can throw in any buzzword you want, we are actually able to predict when a company needs your product and services even before they come talk to you. That's pretty good, right? That's the dream we have. So at least if the dream that we have is um, a salesperson and a marketing person or a marketing person logs into the dashboard, whether it's their CRM or their marketing automation system, and then every morning they see an ordered list of accounts prioritized by their intent score that they can go after every day along with uh, enriched with their relationship score by nudge. So thank you very much. Take care.